yeah good evening everyone and good evening thanks for joining us for this uh, webinar on startup investments fundability yeah uh, while you are not speaking request to mute yourself and then you can unmute and speak so that there is no background noise while well, i'll be sharing a presentation of close to around uh, 25 minutes and then we can open for q and a yeah uh, expecting more folks also uh, there were more than uh, 30 registrations uh, this is an interesting topic and uh, sarthi has been in this enablement domain for almost 2 years now so it's a topic which is close to our heart because we play on both sides of the game we are kind of the uh, uh, enablers for startup funding and on the other side for giving good startups to investors so that's the kind of uh, act which we play in this ecosystem and it's been really a wonderful journey for the last year and a half two years so uh, i've titled this webinar uh, think again uh, from mr adam grant's book because uh, uh, startups is one domain where i find uh, the need of this uh, message uh, the, the dogma, the I know uh, the right way is uh, quite present in the uh, corporate ecosystem. But in the startup ecosystem, people are happy uh, going back to uh, square one and then restarting. And uh, uh, Blinkit is a classic example of growers to Blinkit to fast commerce, a startup whose shape and everything changed in the last uh, four years of its life cycle. So that's the theme of this webinar and three because this is the third webinar we are doing in this journey. And of course, uh, the key topic which we'll be discussing today and what role Sarthi also plays in that is the fundability of startups. So uh, I always like to start with a quiz. And uh, the first question I had uh, for you, uh, it's a slightly dated question on the top three sectors for hiring in 2021, which were the top three sectors for hiring in 2021. Anybody? Uh, you mean hiring the sense for employment opportunities? Yeah, employment opportunities. Yeah, maximum. Is, uh... I think it was more of gig economy, right? Um, it was more of. Okay, gig economy. Uh, any other yes. answers? I, I think this uh, what you call uh, supply chains like uh, Zomato or uh, yeah, those were more blue, like, brown color or blue color. Yeah, but, yeah that's yeah, our yeah. hiring. But if I look at value so, hiring, uh, uh, value hiring, uh, no, then this actually it's it, 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 we, we people actually in in, in the field we follow up with the media one. So whatever they give, we used to. Uh, yeah. So which are the top three media. sectors as per the media only? I mean, there is good amount. Yeah, of uh, uh, yeah, that's all. So actually, actually, quite often nowadays, the supply chains like the food. I mean, uh, so again, everything, a lot of uh, things. So if you go for the higher things, then it will be again uh, uh, our uh, uh, what do you call no, Baiju and Paytm is doing good. I, uh, I, I believe I think Baiju is uh, doing a lot of hiring and. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, particularly in the educational sector and what you call food delivery sectors and uh, again the SaaS is the only thing now uh, I think software as a service actually this is the only things where we can find in every uh, alternative days they are hiring and everything so mm -hmm. I, I always believe in the digital because uh, a startup in the sense the general uh, mindset in everyone, whether either it's a government or uh, what you call even private sector startup means it's a digital based one. Nobody bothers about, I mean, nobody, uh, what you call having that kind of attention to the manufacturing industry. So these uh, three top sectors means definitely it is a digital IT and an IT enabled services only. So it will come, uh, yeah. I believe. I'll just give the answers, yeah. Happy to see that startups is so much in uh, follow up, uh, like people are uh, discussing startups. So actually it is, Technology, of course, we all know of the great resignation and how uh, technology salaries have doubled in less than a year. And of course, health tech, because uh, overall the health sector saw a lot of uh, interest because of COVID or even otherwise people were more health conscious uh, due to COVID. And the third sector, startups. One of the startups as a sector was uh, tracked. So uh, in the last three months, we've seen the negative news about uh, startup job losses, but the idea is you to hire in tons to lose in kg and therefore the sector becomes a sector of focus. So happy to see that startups is among the top three hiring sectors. Uh, the government, our prime minister also has used that uh, startup word quite often when he talks about uh, the India fruit future growth engines. 
Yeah. How many unicorns minted in 2021? Anyone? Full year 2021, how many unicorns were minted? I, if I'm not mistaken, it's more than five. Well, let's see. Uh, no, no, the number is much bigger. Uh, <laughs> because that's what uh, maybe uh, we, are, we are again uh, maybe 10 plus yeah actually 44 oh that's it's a great oh, 44 oh, it's, 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 it's a it's a really what you call uh, uh, commendable news actually so we, we thought okay again so uh, very uh, quite often what we see the media is the same thing so uh, the uh, what in economic times basically so what they have in these kind of a numbers people are in the field they are very familiar with this seems comparatively with the media so because i i think uh, so 44 it's a quite a number because yeah versus sorry, my, 37 my unicorns in the last 10 years from 2010 to 2020 37 unicorns 2021 single year 44 unicorns oh so good. that's and the funding also more than tripled from 13 billion in okay. 2020 to okay. 35 billion in 2021 so, okay okay so that's the kind of uh, positivity and the uh, attention which india is grabbing at a global scene in terms of being the second largest uh, startup ecosystem in the world to the kind of funding yeah. being able to yeah. attract so that's it's all right. positive news but i am happy to say that even college uh, folks are today considering that they'll start up instead of joining a job even after IIT or IIM degree. So that's the positive about uh, unicorns. Yeah, last question. Uh, I have the list of unicorns also to show you. So this is the top 25 unicorns as on date, starting with Baiju's, of course. We've heard of uh, more than lakh plus employees in Baiju to Swiggy to Polygon, which is uh -huh. a recently minted unicorn with a valuation of uh, 10 billion to OYO and so this is the top 25 and it's across sectors. It's FinTech, it's uh, PropTech, it's mo mobility or uh, EVs, it's uh, SaaS. SaaS is also quite a hot sector now and D2C. So different uh, sectors across which we've got uh, unicorns. Yeah. So uh, coming to the next question, what is the salary approved by Zeroda board for its founders? Sorry, okay. sir. Sorry, no, uh, completely. Yes, uh, it's, uh, what do you call uh, salary? Maybe. Yeah. Is, yes, is yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, what is the salary approved by Zero Da Board for its founders? In nowadays, it is more than uh, what do you call, if I'm not mistaken, some million, 40 million dollars or something like that. And so, uh, Throw the piece, uh, if you can. Okay. Uh, uh, maybe uh, if, if I'm not mistaken, more than about uh, 50, 60 crores or something like that. Yeah, so it's actually 100 crores per founder. Oh, oh good. <laughs> that is the salary approved by Zeroda board for mm. its three founders. And more than ah. Mr. Ambani, more than Mr. Piramal, Madami, you name it. And, uh, ah. and they can afford it. But a company which was started in 2010, in fact, 2009, okay. just after the recession, okay. is able to pay 100 crore salary to each of its founders. So again, the startup vibe of the trying to create okay. something new, disrupting a space and generating huge wealth for yourself also, your shareholders yeah. also, and huge value for your customers also. Uh, that's it. So interesting questions and happy to see all startup founders only here. Yeah. So I just yeah. need to... I had a small poll, but I was expecting more folks uh, to. So I will convert this poll into a mm -hmm. question only. So... Uh, 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 if you can all share about me, what are you here for? What do you want to learn? Uh, like I just put the poll also just as a, you need not fill it, you can answer it uh, for me. Yeah. So, uh, this was the question I had. Uh, I am looking for startup funding for my startup. Okay. And uh, how many of you is immediately, how many of you is in up to 12 months, after 12 months? So I'm not looking for funding. So I think I've got around five of you. So you can share about, uh, what are you here for? What do you want to learn? 
i am looking for funding for my startup that's uh, actually you want as i mean no to answer that's the that answer question. immediately yeah, yeah. immediately yeah. Yeah. up to 12 months yeah. after 12 I'm months i am not looking for funding that's the yeah. four options yeah definitely definitely so i am not looking uh, for after 12 months i need i uh, right away if it's a dollar 400000 dollar uh, which uh, maybe i apologize for this actually uh, for 17 uh, venture capitals written uh, i mean send message sir your value proposition proposition is so small so that uh, so we are not able to do it. that is the reply i got it from 15 including sequoia so i mean you know you know sequoia in uh, what I, I why i wanted to uh, reply this way so i don't want to mention it sorry to mention sequoia so many people great because mr commissioner we they, understood we understood your requirement so you you have yeah, funding you yeah, because what do you do small amount small amount is not, yeah because small amount in the sense actually we have i'm i'm what i'm uh, it is, doesn't mean that uh, uh, so, i mean venture capital investors are ready to give more than even when when it is a 50 50 million dollars or something like that the requirement is based on only but small okay, say Ganesha, let others also speak let others yeah, also sorry. give me their input on what are they here for what are they looking for uh, as far as sorry. funding goes yeah. my uh, my apologies sir. no problem yeah next anyone want to share yeah girish uh, yeah we'll we looking for uh, definitely for funding immediately uh, as we are yeah. ready to scale at right. the same time i'm also looking for uh, help in my product development especially the technology part of it great thank you ganga yeah okay. next anyone yeah this is vasu yeah vasu so i'm looking i'm looking for the funding within 6 months because for this scaling and to develop the technical team and for the operation team i need within 6 months okay great so uh, yeah. no one else is there with three founders right i don't think any other founder manish is my team member sumit is my team member yeah great so the next question was if i don't get funding in x months my startup will dash if you can answer this uh, sentence fill in the blanks for the center if, if i don't get funding in the next dash months you can define that one month uh, 12 months six uh, months my startup will dash so what i believe is actually within if you if, if i don't get within this uh, two or three months actually i have to wait it doesn't mean that my startup will go because i am a what you call uh, entering into the uh, new uh, venture it is it's a right. unique something like that so i am waiting Good. within two months means i'll wait again it is doesn't Good. mean that my so nothing big changes change. you are saying it, it may come in two months uh, again i have to in. wait i have to wait again for a new uh, venture okay fine yeah ganga or uh, vasu yeah yes yeah if uh, that's what i said right within 6 months if i am not getting then uh, that mvp stage it is there so i have to slowly slowly i have to do it whatever funding i am having with the bootstrapping money so i have to manage so wow. i cannot uh, scale it big way, in a big way good so you won't be able to go from say 2x to 3x but the x will continue your organic growth will continue in organic yes. growth may get a little slow down okay Good. Yes, in organic way, it will be step by step. It will slowly it will go. That's what yeah. I can say. Yeah, Ganga. Yeah, you also mentioned okay, growth will slow down. Opportunity will be lost. Right. Opportunity lost. I mean, we have a great opportunity to scale now, uh, and it. that will that will slow down if I don't have my team in place. Great, yeah. great. Thanks, thanks everyone, and I'll quickly uh, share with you the journey of a unicorn which we created after. all this experience of speaking to hundreds of startups across the globe so uh, of course the we know our uh, arjun ki aap we know our vision that this is where we have to be we have to be at the ipo level and uh, or a buyout level uh, or a unicorn level yeah billion plus dollar valuation and everybody has a role to play in this journey from the core uh, team members co-founders investors friends family mentors everybody has a role to play and this is the journey which a startup kind of it starts with dots so a founder might work with x idea might not get traction immediately move to y idea he might even start with a problem and then move to b problem because he is not getting the desired uh, customer interest in solving a problem so that's why the dotted line yeah so as you move from proof of concept proof of concept is nothing where customer says okay i was looking for this matlab i had this headache or i had this pain and this is the crossen which you are giving me so it will relieve my pain and i was looking for this matlab where were you for so much time yeah 
So that's that proof of concept which you get from your early adopters or early customers, based on which you build a minimum viable product. So you got this customer who's saying, I need this element. So you build a minimum viable product. Could be an app, could be a solution, could be a service around which your uh, product is built. And that will lead to early revenues. Yeah. So paying customers is something which is more and more a uh, rubber stamp that, okay, this idea was required. Yeah. That's why this A customer is paying for it. And uh, at times, uh, D2C brands spend almost uh, 20 to 30% of their top line on digital marketing. So a new concept called built of unit economics. That, okay, if I'm manufacturing in 100, doing digital marketing and building all my costs and selling in 200, does it cover my cost? Does the unit economics cover? Can this uh, design give me X BHP of power to build it into a big car for which I'll give money and then sell this car across the globe? But that's what is the next stage of scale. So first stage is, of course, you have your POC, you build an MVP, you get into that early traction with customers and then comes scale. So the critical investors in the early stage are normally friends, family and incubators. As you get your early traction, in fact, it's there in the next slide. That's where you interest outsiders, be it angels, be it folks like us. So we also want to touch a startup post POC, MVP and early revenue. Yeah, And then that's where once angels get attracted, once you have that initial in interest and the initial capital to scale in a single city or a single area or a single set of customers, that's where VCs kind of uh, notice these kind of startups. So they invest at the slightly later stage when a startup has achieved a certain amount of early product market fit. Then they come in and then they use uh, the, you can use BC money. It normally is in millions of dollars or eight crore plus to go to multi-city, different TG customers. So this is the journey of a startup from survive to strive to thrive. And the success factors can be different. So this success factors were defined by Mr. Bill Gross, who's got more than hundred successful startups in its uh, uh, domain. So, uh, he runs the Pacific Investment Management Fund and uh, he defines timing. Now, timing is really in the heart, hands of the founder. It's normally market dependent. So timing is something which he believes is the first reason why a startup succeeds. So there were so many startups before Flipkart in India who were doing e-commerce. There were so many startups who were doing video sharing before YouTube. But they succeeded because their timing was right. They, they, their timing when they entered the market was right. The second is team. So how good is the team to solve that problem is what the second uh, check which the investor wants to do, isn't he? Uh, how does the team know the problem which it is solving? Yeah, uh, Has it spent good enough time in the domain? So is it an inside out team versus an outside in team? The third is idea. So idea comes number three. It's like after team, the idea is what the VCs or the investors evaluate. And fourth is business model. Business model is, do you have the right competence to serve your customer? Have you reached out to them with a PD plan? And of course, uh, is the customer giving you that positive uh, unit economics for you to sustain and then increase your operation using customer money instead of investor money? These are success factors and you can see the orange arrows which we've created. So the orange arrows are more in the early stage and that's why uh, PCs rarely uh, pick startups this early, they, they prefer the slightly late stage when they support the startup in that one to 100 journey. The zero to one journey is in that box. And Sarthi plays in this box. So we play in that zero to one journey mainly. We kind of, after that million eight crore to up to 30 crore funding, we kind of say our job is over and let the next level of folks take over. So we play in this high risk, uh, high failure rate journey using our strategic tools and templates. So I've just zoomed in this journey for you. That is what do VCs want uh, and what do investors want also? So as I was mentioning, a uh, five lakh MRR is something where you might attract outside angel investors and do your first angel round of a crore to up to three crore. Yeah, That's where angel investors come become interested. Uh, as you reach 1.5 uh, crore worth of uh, ARR, you can look at a VC round of uh, say, uh, half a million to even uh, 2 million to 3 million. So this is what uh, is the matrix. It can be converted to downloads also. It can be converted to other matrix also. But this is 
where the outside investors want to pitch in. And this that's why time is fungible. You can do this in six months. You can take at times three years plus to achieve these kind of metrics, which uh, attract outside investors. Yeah. So this is the early stage journey, uh, which we map for you. So, and it's a vicious come victorious cycle. So when you get funding, you are able to attract more customers. More customers give you the growth you desire, which will attract more rounds of funding. So we've seen startups raise two, two, three, five rounds of funding uh, in a short span of uh, one to one and a half year also. Yeah. So that's the power of this vicious come victorious cycle where the less than 1% attract funding, but they are the ones who attract repeat funding versus more number of uh, startups who should be attracting funding. So that's why as you attract your first round of funding, the second round becomes much, much easier, followed by the third and fourth. So we uh, encourage startups to take this self-assessment test on our website. That's the first step which we encourage the startup to do. And it's again, it's a scientific test which we've developed after uh, spending good enough time in the early stage ecosystem. So VCs rarely invest in single founder companies. They believe that the uh, organization cannot be run with the steam of a single founder. So there has to be complementing skills. Although there can be one main founder and then can be other co-founders who can play smaller roles. So if technology core, ideally the main founder should come from a technology background. If uh, marketing or business development is core, then the core founder should be coming from a uh, marketing or business development background. And then comes the problem. How well do you know the problem? Normally folks rate high on this. We've seen almost 400 plus startups who've rated themselves and they normally rate themselves high on the problem. Domain experience. So if I've spent good enough time in the same domain, the chances of me solving the problem is much higher than someone else. So Zoom, uh, if you know Zoom, Zoom uh, founder was working in Microsoft uh, and he was the early developer of the Microsoft uh, uh, video conferencing solutions. And he was bugged by the kind of uh, uh, complexity in it. And he wanted to develop a simple solution and that's how Zoom was born. So that domain experience gave him that uh, inside out thought process of how he should be building a startup, which is different than how the problem is being solved currently. And of course, startup experience is something which is valued by investors and everyone. Why? Because uh, doing a startup is much different than doing a traditional company. So coming from uh, lean, coming from uh, hustle, coming from agile, all these are critical traits which a startup teaches you much, much more than other uh, domains. And of course, investors love large markets. So if you're solving a large market globally, so that's why SaaS is something which is becoming more and more popular. And if you're solving a larger problem for a lot of customers, that's where investors feel that it's the right thing to back. And then the stage, which I showed you in that unicorn journey curve is uh, what stage do you have? What's your experimental quotient? So how, much, how many different POCs are you experimenting with? What's your differentiation quotient? How different is your solution versus others? So investors don't back me too. So if there are already five players who are dominant in a particular domain, the sixth player will rarely attract investor attention unless he's got a differentiated solution. And the question number nine is on traction. So I mentioned about the MRRs of five lakh and uh, 10 lakh. So that's what is this question all about. And product market fit is something where the critical question which investors want you to answer is, what if your solution is not there? Will the customers miss you? Will you? Uh, will they kind of panic or say, oh, without this, I cannot spend even a day. So that's what is the kind of product market fit which you can demonstrate by with your product. And testimonials, uh, repeat customers, all these are measures of product market fit. And of course, the last question is uh, on uh, runaway. So uh, if I am starved of funding, I'll be starved more. That uh, slam of uh, Matthew. So you just mentioned that those who have will have more and those who don't have whatever little they have will also be taken away. So that's what VCs also believe in. So if you've got good enough funding in your uh, seed or post seed round, your series A chances are much, much higher. But suddenly different VCs would like to. So someone backed by well-known names like Sequoia, Ycom is kind of attracting repeat investor attention in their journey of uh, investment. So I can pause here for any questions. Uh, I've shown you, uh, some of you have taken the self-assessment test also. Yeah. 
Yeah, I have taken. Sorry, sorry. I have taken the self assessment as soon as I saw that. You know, means I made it. I mean, thing that I have posted. I uh, what do you call? Uh, I got an appointment with you for tomorrow, so I have already booked it. <laughs> Right. I did. So yeah. self-assessment test is our first uh, touch point, followed by a detailed assessment. We normally spend 15 to 30 minutes. And if we believe that the startup is investable, we do a, almost a four-hour assessment going deeper into their uh, value proposition, business model, financial modeling. And then we give access to angel networks and VCs for a fundraiser of four plus. Now, we've kind of uh, not only said that we fund investable startups, we are saying that we will make a startup investable also. So this webinar was more for startups who are early, who are kind of not ready for uh, funding. So we said, we'll make you, uh, and you divided our program into base camp and champions. There's a 45 day base camp. Uh, you might have to spend more time also if you take more. What we are looking for is, we are going to use our tools and templates, strategic tools and templates to check the investment quotient, what we call enterprise strength and returns potential of the startup. And even if you are at the borderline of seven on 10, We'll take you and then you move it to champion. And in champion on the 45 days, we'll work together. You'll be spending time at our speed and then you'll get access to angel networks. So total 90 days of base camp plus champion in a cut short manner. Okay. So this is our two uh, paths for a startup. One is if we believe a startup is fundable, we straight away do the assessment and give them access to funding. If we believe the startup is not yet ready for funding, it's not right ripened. We will in, uh, encourage them to join our Minds program. But cohort five is announced. Applications are closing tomorrow. So we have three arms of our company. The first is our angel network, the, the best wing arm. We have 100 plus angels. We've already done three and a half crores plus of funding for five odd startups. And we plan to introduce 20 plus startups. The, our angels like the curation which we do. The first startup we brought to our angels in November last year already has a 2x valuation. So that's why the angels like the kind of startups. And we started with that vision of reducing failure because failure is painful for everyone, for the investor also, for the founder also, for us folks like us also. So and because of our unique strategic investment process, we were able to add value to that startup journey at the founder level first and then at the investor level. And Minds already we've done four cohorts, impacted 29 startups, 13 different mentor investors added value to the startup journey. Uh, for them and that's cohort five which will be starting on the 17th of august it's a virtual program part-time a startup has to invest four to six hours in a week for the six weeks initially and selected for champions another six weeks and you get access to angel funding and of course vip is our investment banking arm so we not only do funding through our angel network we've got partner angel networks we've got partner vcs yeah so we handled up to 30 crores of funding through our vip program and the VCs also love our process because they get vetted startups. The VC gets more than 100 pitches in a day in his mailbox. Who vets them? Normally, junior folks with three years experience from a IM might vet them. But they don't know the positioning of the startup in that unicorn journey. Yeah. So they go by themes. So they believe D2C is a theme of the year. They will invest into D2C startups. SaaS is a theme. So... But which is dangerous because all VCs are investing into SaaS or so good ed tech startup might be missed. So ed tech is currently not in vogue in the VC ecosystem. But we are the ones who use our strategic templates and say, boss, well, irrespective of the domain, if the startup is at the right position, VCs should invest in because VCs also will be having a high probability of success. So this is our three verticals for Sarthi, our angel network, our minds program, and our investment banking, which is the VIP program. So this uh, today's webinar was for the Minds program. Uh, the full form of Minds is a mentor investor network for disrupting startups. And it's the only program in the world we claim. We rest most of the programs, accelerator programs or others are in that selection mindset. And when you select, you normally have biases. So if I see IIT degree behind the founder, I believe you are to solve Kari Lega. So what if he's 19 or 20 year old? Yeah, so those are biases which come in in the VC ecosystem or the investment ecosystem and the luck factor also comes in. So we try to reduce the biases and increase the uh, success theory by strategic tools and templates. So that's our value add to this journey of early stage uh, startup ecosystem. And this is some of the cohort startups uh, uh, expressions already raised funding of uh, almost five crores and uh, three crores balance for its journey. Uh, these are some of the startups we are hand-holding in that journey and 
confident that quite a few will be reaching our angel network and other investors also in this game. And they come from different domains. So because we are strategists, we are domain agnostic. We've helped deep tech startups. We've helped like my pets is a, a pet food startup. So we've got startups from across different domains. And this is just a partial list. Our website has a much detailed list of startups. This is a testimonial I'd like to play. So. Hello, I'm Suman. And I'm the co-founder of Expressions Learning Resource Private Limited. We are an educative company. I and my co-founder took the Sarthi Minds program. And it has been such an enriching experience for both of us. I am an educationist and I'm a man of content and domain expertise. I knew everything about the problems that we are out there to solve. And we have all the solutions for the students of our target segment. But we didn't have enough of clarity on how to package it into an attractive funding candidate. That is when we took Sarthi Minds program. What I like most about Sarthi was their fundamental proposition to us. You get your value proposition right and the funding will fall. That's exactly what they did with us. They sharpened our value proposition. Our mentor under the program, Mr. Sanjay, so quickly became our friend and a mentor both. And those structured exercises that we did under the program truly transformed the form and format of our proposition. And we suddenly looked far more prepared, far more confident to go out and face the investors. Team Sarthi has been truly what their name suggests them to be. Thanks Sarthi for everything they did for us. Thank you so much. So Expressions is an edtech startup. And... Uh... Hello. This is a SaaS startup. It's a HR tech SaaS startup, which is new element technologies has been associated with Sarthi Minds for the last few years. Initially, when we spoke, I was not too sure what to expect from this association. Having spent close to 30 years in the industry, you're always skeptical about what value something can bring in. But I must confess, Sarthi's approach in terms of dissecting our business and helping you realize the company's strengths and gaps has been quite amazing. It has been a truly enlightening couple of weeks and I, along with my co-founders, have been able not just to validate what we have done, but also prioritize key factors in terms of our goal. The most delightful aspect has been the attitude of the Sarthi team. Each one of them come with tremendous experience working with startups and large organizations. They have always made every co-founder feel comfortable and continuously encourages each one of them not only to think big, and also be realistic at the same time. The mentor and the mentor of mentors spend considerable amount of time trying to understand the business and they literally handhold you over the first few weeks of interaction. I'm delighted to be a part of Global 3. And I'm sure our association SAFI is going to help Blue Element Technologies in reaching our next milestone very quickly. Thanks, Team Sarthi. So this is Team Sarthi, yeah. We have 15 of us with different uh, domain expertise. Uh, Amar co comes from a go-to-market uh, expertise. Sumit is the strategist in the game. Sanjay comes from a technology background. Mr. Surinayan was ex-CEO in SRCL. Yeah. Uh, I have spent time in leadership roles. I did a startup of my own in real estate. And I'm also an angel investor and an active enabler, running both acceleration programs and early stage startup enablement programs. Four of our mentor investors are based in the US. So I probably say that anyone under the sun is two steps away from Team Sarthi. But the link-ups and all come much later in the game. The first is our job is to assess and find investable startups or what the startup should do to become investable. These are the two critical uh, areas we work on. Is the startup investable? If not, what are the two, three critical things? If it does, it becomes investable. So we've got standard report cards which we give to the startups who go through the program of what the other two, three things they need to do to become investable. Yeah, so uh, tomorrow is the last day for uh, cohort five base camp. Uh, it starts on uh, 17th of August, which is Wednesday. And it will be 5 to 7 p.m. normally, uh, two to three days in a week where we'll have the download sessions, we'll have the Q&A sessions, or we'll have the uh, presentation sessions where the startups will present. So it's a 
DIY program to some extent. So we'll be giving you templates, our strategic templates, and you'll have to work on them. And we'll give you, uh, we'll assess you, we'll rate you on different parameters uh, on those templates. So that's what my session today was. Happy to take any questions from any of you. Uh, sir, actually, uh, with this uh, um, uh, registration, what I have done today uh, yeah, is, uh, in yeah. your website, that I'm having a meeting with you tomorrow. The same thing only you are talking, no? This, uh, registration. Oh, this is the Minds program, sir. So, what stage is your startup, sir? Actually, uh, my uh, sir, I, actually, it is investment stage, sir. Okay, fine. So let's have a call tomorrow. Let I'll understand yeah. it and I'll guide you. Yeah. On. yeah, thank you. That's that's the only question because I wanted because it's a, it's a different yeah. because uh, thinker actually it's it's an investment stage. That's it. No investment stage is uh, see, actually early it is stage, a, MVP POC revenue. It's so a different. Are you actually, generating revenue, sir? Actually, I was having in personal capacity my organization from two thousand ten. Mm -hmm. Then I thought to go for a bigger role, so I converted into the corporate. So corporate level I converted in this year. Then I'm I'm expecting venture capital. Otherwise, I don't have all capital. It is an experimented I did for twelve years. Then it I'm going for a. I'll I think I'll hope I'll I'll explain it tomorrow so that yes, you will understand. Let me understand. Thank you, better, yeah. Thank Thank you for your timing, sir. It's very nice talking to you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions from anyone? Yeah, so Girish, you said uh, three days a week, is it? Um, yeah, five to seven p.m., two to three days a week. Yeah, four to six hours a week. Four to six hours a week. How many? Typically, how many startups in one cohort? I mean, if I may ask. Around fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. So we break them into groups. There'll be common yeah, download sessions. There'll be Q and A sessions, and there'll be separate pitch sessions for the groups. Separate groups. Yeah, that's what I want to know. Do we get to uh, hear other startups as well? Yeah, other you will. As well. Of course. Yeah. There's so much yeah. learning from other startups. Yeah. That's yeah, why the that's cohort that. approach is what we use and around 15 startups. Right. That, that's what I wanted to know. Yeah, you this... already registered, right? I think you already registered, Ganga. Yeah, I, I, I'm i shortlisted for the cohort. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, right. right. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome to cohort five. Yeah. Thank you. Because yeah. I'm traveling uh, from 16th, I'm in Delhi. So I just wanted to know the timings. That's why I asked. 5 to 7 p.m. as I mentioned. First date is, uh, we'll send you the schedule also beforehand. By day after tomorrow, you'll receive the schedule also for the entire 45 days of space. Great. Thanks, Girish. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, Vedant, Vasu, any yes. questions? Yeah, go ahead, Vasu. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Um, this is regarding... Uh, uh, my business now it is in MAP stage. Okay, mm -hmm. so shall I go for Minds program, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, so he was telling that templates will be there. You will be guiding for this uh, how to enrich our uh, uh, pitch deck and uh, value valuation and all. So for that again, uh, when it comes to the pricing, again you need to pay some uh, some extra extra amount for each each and every task. It's a every activity. First 45 days uh, will be base camp, where we kind okay. of our objective is to select startups who are 70% ready for funding. We'll support them in the champions to get 100% of the uh, cover the balance 30% journey also. So after 45 okay. days, suppose we've given you gaps, and you have two options. But you can say I'll take three months or I'll take six months, I'll fill in these gaps and come back to you. Or you need our guidance and you want to repeatedly pitch and take mentor investor guidance also for that. Then there's a 5,000 fee only per month for staying in the base camp for post 45 days. For the champions, we take normally equity. We, uh, part equity before funding, part equity after funding and when we get them funding uh, along with the journey. So that's what we do for champions. Okay. So this, no. It's a highly subsidized program. We have not uh, kept fees uh, high because our success is also linked to the startup success. Yes, that is absolutely correct. Because what I mean to ask is, uh, now in Minds program, I will be doing 45 days. Yes. So parallelly, my business also should come to live, right? Yeah, so that's why you'll invest only four to six hours a week in the program. Balance is for your business only. And you'll okay. get specific areas to work on. Either you'll be seven on 10, so you'll move to champion, or you'll get specific areas. I have to do these two, three areas to work on my value proposition or my business model to become seven on 10. And every 45 days, 
repeatedly you will get opportunity to pitch because cohort 6 will pitch after another 45 days cohort 7 like that so you will get okay. repeated opportunities to pitch with other startups also and you will see why a startup was selected and i was selected or not selected you will see that reason also okay for a, for each class eh, only a founder is allowed to participate or co-founder or co -founder the team also. members can participate all team members can participate Ideally, see, um, multiple cooks might spoil the broth. So two founders, two, three founders, one of the core decision makers of the startup should be a part of the program. Okay, okay. So, okay. This is a purely virtual, right? Or, uh, it's purely uh, virtual. It's only, on can... Zoom. No, only on Zoom. Uh, sometimes, only on. sometimes we can come to our office means... Yeah, see, we are based in Bangalore. We are based in Bangalore. So happy to... Uh, we are 91 Springwood MG Road, Bangalore. So happy to meet you in office, but this program is virtual. Where are you based? I'm in Bangalore only. So you're in Bangalore. We can surely catch up sometime, yeah. Yeah, we can catch up sometime, yeah. Sure, sure. So, yeah, this program starts on coming 17th, right? Coming 17th, yes. And tomorrow's the last year to apply. You applied already? No, still not applied. I need to enroll it, actually. Yeah, yeah. So tomorrow's the last year for application and uh, select the startups. Uh, 17th, okay. the program starts. 17th, 5 people. Okay. Okay, the schedule and all you will be shared, right? In yeah, advance. once, so yeah, once weekly, so weekly, yeah, weekly four to six hours of uh, investment required. You'll get the schedule in advance. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Girish, I have one more. Yeah, nice question. speaking to you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. tell me, Gandam. Uh, Girish, there are some areas where we feel we need that extra help. Uh, so, could we put our request forward, or you have a standard? way of going yeah there. for 45 days it's a standard way of going because see, right. Arjun ki aap, we keep, keep using that word is uh, something different for the first uh, 15 days something different for the next 15 days and something before the third part of the program so we don't want to lose that Arjun ki aap. right okay so just go with the flow my submission is go with the flow you sure. get some less value in the flow sure. right. yeah and one more uh, suppose yeah, suppose uh, we cannot uh, make it uh, possible for to attend the meeting on that time. Uh, should it ask uh, any other batches there? Uh, I can we can join yes, because yes. you are telling five to seven. Yeah. Suppose uh, suppose one day I may be busy or uh, some other work I cannot join means uh, so some other batch I can join. That's what my question. So they are download sessions which are common for all the people, all the startups in the cohort. There are pitch sessions for which you'll get an option. I, I'm not available on Wednesday. Can I pitch on Thursday? So as I said, there'll be groups, group-wise pitching. Okay. So we'll be accommodative in that sense. Yeah. Okay. And that's why we kept it 5 p.m. for that reason only that morning, 10 to 5, focus on your business. We don't want to disturb that. 5 to 7 p.m. you give to us. That also, 4 to 6 hours a week, not more. Okay. Now, uh, another question is, so how much uh, percentage, how much uh, percentage of probability is there for my startup? Now, the, I'm doing e-commerce operator actually, okay? Yeah. Still, the software and all it has developed, it is in final testing. So I'm planning to launch on next month. Right. So uh, before launching, if I take this part, within 45 days, I can able to get the funding or I need to wait for some time to get some attraction. So what is your point of view? See, uh, founders do a lot of forward, backward, forward, backward in their early stage journey. The okay. beauty of this program is either it will tell you you are fundable, and of course, funding comes in around 90 days, 45 of the base camp, 45 of the champions. Or it will tell you, no, no, don't do forward, backward, forward. Do these two areas, work on these two areas, and you'll be funding ready. So as I mentioned, the seven on 10 criteria we have. So we'll give you those one to two areas to max on three areas that work on them, Set these right, and the right uh, will also be mentioned. This is the right uh, benchmark for you to kind of uh, achieve. So, and okay. you'll be ready for funding. So, you get that specific Arjun ki arc in that program. It could be technology, which you mentioned, it could be uh, team, it could be traction, it could be any of the uh, factors which are responsible for startup success. Okay. But it will be a specific factor which you'll get. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thank you, Grace. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.